Hi everyone, and welcome to another video uh, of the How To series. Uh, this time we are going to talk about Charlotte. Um, let's start on some history on my Charlotte. I got her in uh, October 2014, uh, a bit over two months uh, into the game for me back then. Uh, I didn't obviously I couldn't awaken her very early because I had, I had gone Tasha early as well and I still hadn't awakened him because you know essences as a early player not an easy thing to get to so even unawakened though she gets 25 accuracy when awakened so I wasn't too important like at the time uh, she was fine I ruined her despair focus back then she was speed attack accuracy Mm, I upgraded that to speed attack attack at some point and uh, had uh, still had like over 80% accuracy, over 80, 86 I think percent accuracy with speed attack attack. She did decent damage. I was mainly using her for TOA. Uh, you'd be surprised in how many uh, floors she actually worked really well. Even the f heavy fire ones. The first time I got through hard uh Beretta Inferno's floor was with Charlotte. Like I couldn't get through it and Charlotte got me through it. And I know it's surprising and it's weird, but that's how it happened. And I, I one shot, right? Not even like I didn't even have to use uh, her more, try her more than once. She one shot that floor. With despair uh despair focus. So let's go over her skills a bit. You know her skills, like the first one good it actually has a decent multiplier i'll tell you about damages later this is along with veromos skilled up they, they this is the skill with the biggest uh activation rate the stun the aoe stun with the biggest activation rate in the game uh besides like conditional stuff like gianna and stuff like that i don't count those i count like straight up stuns toy knight and uh whatever veromos is like supreme Sp smash or like I don't know, whatever. This skill is amazing. It has a decent multiplier, nothing amazing, okay, but it does over 20k uh, with good runes. So decent damage. Uh, glancing hit is awesome. Very good in TOA as well. Uh, but it's awesome in uh, Arena and stuff too. Like, it's really good against Theo. Uh, yeah. It's really good against Arena Theo as well, where you have more things to take care of him, so and he ha you have more things to tank him, unlike Guild Wars. So putting a glancing on Theo in Arena is super duper good. Uh, and the ATB reduction, which is what's extra good for TOA. Now I usually let's go let's go into the the skill ups aren't that many, but they are enough. Let's go into the runes. Usually, I would advise not to double dip on stuns. So since she has a, a second skill that stuns, I would not I would prefer Violent over Despair on her. But, her third skill, uh, and I'm pretty adamant on this actually, seems to be uh, one of those skills where multiple uh, iterations of it, the multiple hits, have separate Despair proc chances. Uh, similar to Tyron's first skill, or uh, things like that, where you see the stun activate like on the third attack of Tyron's first skill, because they are separate attacks, each one having a 25% chance of stun. Uh, Despair is 25%, right? I think it is. Yeah, 25 Okay. Um, so Charlotte's three skills also seem to have that. Oh, my theory on this is that if the each attack, each separate attack puts a debuff on, then it counts as a separate attack for the despair set. Uh, so yeah, same for Jin, for example, the Light Ninja. But I don't have experience with him. I have experience with Charlotte. So yeah, despair really good, really good, really high chance to stun with the third skill. Like when I was using her despair in arena, there were very few times where she wouldn't stun at least one person with the third skill. Then her first skill, really good. Again, uh, it has built-in violence, so that's why violence is pretty good on her. So anyone who gets a Charlotte really early on, definitely put Despair on her. Like, it's the set to get. Speed attack HP, uh, speed attack accuracy, speed attack attack, speed damage attack, like something like that. But Despair, 
she will help you so much even speed you can even run her speed hp accuracy for toa right um but for a starting player because this is the main guys this is the main focus of these videos right it's for starting players or players who don't know what to do with some of the monsters they have and they don't have any other monsters so they might as well use them the focus of this is not like everyone who is a charlotte user there are better monsters obviously because in the chow one people were pretty mad at me like oh you put those runes on monsters yeah I, I put those runes on those monsters because that they, they are what they have what i have to work with so this is one of the biggest uh, this is one of the amazing uh things you can do with charlotte uh, as an early gamer right it's not like it's amazing but using her leader skill you get a free 38 percent crit which you can use like it's very very well used in guild wars very very well used in arena this video is more about this f this is the first video on the how to charlotte series they're gonna be more um this one will deal with uh, this like the what to do with charlotte what where she can be used and the the later videos there will be one about guild wars there will be one about arena uh maybe toa i'll have to re 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 ruin her for toa though so i don't know if i'll do that but yeah uh you get the gist so don't worry if there's no guild wars for example in this one there will be a charlotte guild wars uh feature uh so as you can see she can farm Aiden. uh obviously to a very very new player Aiden is kind of off limits but i'm sure she can do normal uh with decent runes and even if not she can definitely do hide any hell which is uh, a decent place to go farm uh also what's very interesting um my charlotte is 181 speed i think i will we'll check in a sec uh she is like in Aiden. it's like she has violent like she goes she laps the units so I'm inclined to believe that one eight, above 180 speed in Aiden seems to double, you know, yeah, 182 speed. So she seems to, like, you know, lap them. So, dev, like, overall, whatever you do with Charlotte, this is kind of essential. Like, you want a speed to slot. Unfortunately, I didn't have a 6 star 1, but, yeah, you know, what can you do? Uh... You want speed on the on slot two, and you want you want over 160 speed for sure. You want her to be relatively fast, either for TOA, for arena, for anything. My Charlotte is this this fast because of my AO, which you most of you that watch my videos know. Uh, you can um, uh, you can go see them in the playlist that I have. Let's go over her runes. As you can see, I this rune has mainly speed. I I would like to change that HP for attack, and then it will be pretty good. Uh, there is this. I put attack here because I don't care that much about her crit. This rune. This needs speed instead of resistance, if possible. This rune. This rune. And this one. As you can see, I still I've gone in some accuracy on her as well, like 53. She's easy to get above 45-ish with some decent subs because she gets 25 from awakening. Like overall, she's a very well balanced monster i like her a lot uh she she does a lot of stuff like my charlotte does a lot of uh, does decent damage uh cc's st like stuns does 20k on her first skill like she's she's really good like, she's a very good overall monster she's not a very specific like I'm Perna and I'm going to do a lot of damage to you and last long and heal my team. She's going... Charlotte is a... I don't want to say jack of all trades, but master of none. Uh, she's above... She's, you know, somewhere in between of that. <laughs> she does everything really well. Yeah, I guess that's what jack of all trades, but master of none means. I guess that's what she is. <laughs> As you can see, I have a rage for my AO, right? Rage is a very specific kind of build. Like, if you're using Charlotte as your DPSer, I would suggest Violent, not Rage. The the extra turns are going to be ridiculous. You're going to do, you're going to go crazy on people. Um, so yeah, uh, these are the basic. Th this is the basic information of Charlotte. You saw that she can farm. You saw that what she can do. Uh, and the last thing I want to say about her. Uh, the next video is going to be on Charlotte and Guild Wars, by the way. And 
But hanging on that, I want to tell you how important her ulti, uh, her uh, leader skill is. You will see all of my monsters, my win one, see 68% crit, 62% crit, 55% crit. I'd like seven more, but you know what can you do? Always uh, 51% crit. All of them have somewhere between 50 and six and 65, or well, Tesher got a bit more. Doesn't matter. The ones that I use have more, uh, a bit more. They don't. They, I don't care that much about crit. I can focus on the other stats because I use them with Charlotte. That kind of limits my options. My options because, like, say Charlotte dies, I'm screwed. Not really because I have other options as well besides the win stuff. But it opens up my options on the monster on my win DPSs themselves to focus on speed attack and crit damage, for example, instead of crit rate as well, which is one of the hardest things uh, to balance. And I don't have to do that because of Charlotte. So if you if you want to use Charlotte as a as a DPSer in your arena or your Guild Wars, definitely pay attention to her uh, to her uh, leader skill. It's very, very, very important and good. And that's about it for Charlotte. I, I don't know if you guys were expecting like more uh, show uh, showcases and stuff i'm not gonna do that uh this is a series and there's going to be more like uh, there's go it's gonna be a at least three parts of this the second one will be guild wars the third one will probably be arena uh so yeah St let's recap St when you get her despair get some damage on her so that you can be your farmer if, if you're later in the game, you can uh, build combos with her and Lucian or Teshar or Julian or Lagmaron or whatever. Uh, if you need her for TOA, she's pretty good. She's pretty good for hard as well. But if you're going to go on hard, put some HP and defense on her, you can go speed HP defense Charlotte and, you know, rape TOA. Uh, and that's about it. Like, good luck. Do not... She's not exactly underrated, but a lot of people bash her. Uh, she's pretty good. She does not deserve the bashing. Like, she has, like, for example, she has a lot more users than this guy. Like, this guy, uh, you know, if I had anything better, I'd use something else. Right? He, he's good, but he's not, you know. Like, if I had anything, I, other bruisers, they would probably get some of his better runes. But Charlotte? I don't think I, a lot of things could replace her for me, like maybe Zyros or like pop hand stuff, which I realize most of you guys don't have as well. But you have Charlotte, so yay, go for her, use her. You can uh, also very decent is you can go with uh, like Me Charlotte, Me go get a really fast Megan, like uh, mine for example here. She's pretty fast, uh, so you can go like Charlotte, Megan, Lucian, Lucian, boom. <laughs> hell of a lot of damage uh, that can be a decent uh, AO for well not Guardian probably but unless you can make Megan even faster than this or uh, but, but definitely Conqueror 2 3, 1 for sure so yeah that's about it guys uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you on the next video the 3 a day will be coming out uh, a bit uh, later today as well. I'm going to upload this now. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, you know the drill. Bye.